Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tech Team Naples with Shen. How's it going, Shen? It's going pretty well, Arumba, and you have figured out a peace deal for us to get out of the war with France. I figured out? Is that is that what we're going to go with then? You're I, blaming this all on me. Am I blaming these these constant coalitions on you? No, I think we, we, we screwed that up together. What I am going to blame on you is the uh, decision to break the alliance with France. I'm going to say that was hashtag blame Arumba. That was a long time ago, and I don't I don't even remember how that <laughs> happened. <laughs> it was um, because we were allied to France and Castile, and France... De no, Castile declared on France. Remember that? So France we, had a defensive call to us, and we had to decide at then at the moment, are we going to keep our alliance with France, or are we going to keep our alliance with Castile? And we chose Castile. Yes, we chose wrong. We chose we poorly. Well, in, in hindsight, you know, it's 2020. We, I, had assumed that France was going to become our enemy very soon because of our adjacency. Right. Um, they never did, which is unusual because eventually. Because, remember, they had the mission. They had the mission to annex Milan, and we had Milan mm -hmm. as a vassal. And France was okay with us being allies while Milan was our vassal. And we were, we were, we were panicking. At least I was panicking. I was saying, oh. As soon as Milan gets integrated, which was in like a few months, as soon as Milan gets integrated, f that, that mission will cause France to go hostile, and he'll break the alliance, and he'll hate us. So why keep the alliance with France if he's just going to break it anyway? But then when we annexed Milan, the mission disappeared. Gone. Yeah. But then there's also just the, you know, hundreds of hours of experience playing this game. If you have an adjacency with France, France hates you. Like, yeah, typically. <laughs> typically, yeah. <laughs> There is no hostile, like, there's no peaceful existence with the blue blob. It, <laughs> you touch it, it, it wants to kill you. <laughs> but anyway, um, unlike the AI in this game, which will fight a completely hopeless war for the next five years and just get 20 war exhaustion. We're, the, um, we're just going to peace out. We know we can't win. So we've found a peace deal that we would be willing to accept. And we're just gonna do it now so we can start rebuilding. So we're gonna lose so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna lose eight provinces here. Um, keep in mind that we are losing more than just Palermo, Messina, and Malta. We're also losing Salento and Abruzzi, mm -hmm. which sucks. Mm -hmm. But Siena and and Sicily, who Sicily keeps coming back, um, are not gonna be hard for us to conquer again. And they're not uh, part of the empire. Unless we'll Sicily gets an alliance with like France or Castile, then it'd be tough. Yeah. Yep, that's true. But we'll but, keep an eye on it. <laughs> yeah. So, the actual peace deal is uh, two cores and all our treaty with Castile. Let's just do it. Done. All right. Now, Shen was asking like, okay, what are we gonna do about the coalition? Well, we just did two 100% peace deals with the Coalition, so the Coalition can't form against us because they have a truce, and we should have 15 years of peace to rebuild. Man, I hope so. And yeah, we need to rebuild our army as soon as possible. It's gotta the happen. The has just joined a Coalition against us. Okay, well, let's have a new Coalition War. Just those two guys, the Platinate and Augsburg, or whoever it is, Salzburg, and Genoa, okay. Sure. All right, so the coalition right now is three people. Do you think they can beat us? We don't really have an army or, or an so ally. If it wasn't for Siena, we could totally form Italy right now. Who should we put as our new um, rival? We have an option of Austria, Munster, Savoy, Sicily, Switzerland, or Tlemcen. You just go for Sicily, maybe? Siena is friendly. Well, they're, they're neutral. Oh, you want to peacefully vassalize Siena? I'm just just considering it. We have four years of truce. It's not even that long. Four, it's a five-year truce. I think we should just fabricate and attack them. Form Italy. Forming Italy gives us claims on everything else. We use the claims on Sicily. All right. I'm going to fabricate, okay? Actually, we, have, we still have our cores on all of Sicily. Well, not all of it. For some reason, we do not have a core on Abruzzi. We do have Salento and the other ones. It's the cu culture again. And Malta, we don't have a core on. Culture. All right, so what were you saying? Something about rivals, right? Rival. Uh, yeah, we can set Sicily as a rival. I think it's worthy. The other options sure. are Tlemcen, Switzerland, Savoy, Munster, or Austria. I'm not going to do Austria. Well, I'm just hoping that Sicily doesn't get any alliances. Yeah. Well, how long is our truce? Five years. Okay. And we're rebuilding our army? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Slowly. <laughs> it's not much, but it's coming. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> Austria is a threat to our nation. We need to placate them. Um, are they willing to accept an alliance again? No, they're not. No, not even close. We got to get our army up. Uh, they were closer than this earlier. They were like negative two reasons. You know what we could do? We could take the level two statesman just to get the alliance right now. I think it's worth it. What do we have at the moment? Better, better, better. relations over time. Well, he's pretty valuable too, don't you think? They're all valuable. We could just wait and get the alliance as our army builds. That's possible. Because I think we'll get there. Army strength Aust is currently at negative 10. Has Austria been allied with France? No. Well, they are now. You're kidding. Nope. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so weird. Because they both hate Burgundy. Okay. Alright, so our infantry are so freaking good that I'm wondering if it's even worth training cavalry. You don't think just having two cav is worthwhile? Well, they're good at flanking, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. But but on average, they do... I, I mean, I guess they do do a little bit more shock damage. They're but. shock phase amazing dudes. Yeah, but we do 30% bonus damage with, cav with infantry. Let's just do some quick math. 0.95 plus 0.6 divided by two phases is 0.775 average damage times 1.3... For that, we do an average of one multiplier with infantry in each phase. Cavalry are two plus zero divided by two times 1.1. And they do an average of 1.1 uh, damage. Yeah, they're still better. Mm -hmm. Slightly. Slightly. But if you factor in that you have the fire phase before the shock phase, then... Alright, fine. We'll make a couple. I think it's still worthwhile. Not much, though. Not many. How many cannons should we build? I just trained one, because we need the value cannon in case we're going to do a siege. Oh, but jeez. That manpower. Yeah. Good thing we have 15 years apiece, right? Most well, likely. Yeah, but it just means we can't recruit our army. Well, in 15 years, we'll get... 26,000 manpower. So. By the next time we fight... I mean, I, I, th I really think a big part of the reason why we had to do negative 200% war score pieces is because we got that bullshit stack wipe. Yeah, that's part of it. But having the both the wars at the same time wouldn't have really worked for us either. Although, well, if, if, we w if we were able to get a couple victories just over some small armies, we could have prevented the ticking war score with France army. With the France war. We had that. We beat Ferrara. I know. And then we beat Roma. I know. And then we retreated, and we died. I don't well, know how should... we died, but we died. You should never be allowed to shattered retreat to the same province that you're in. That was really stupid. Is that what happened? We shattered to the same province? That's why we got stack wiped right away. Yeah. Hmm. Seems a little fishy. I know you want the diplomacy thing, but... Boats? <laughs> you know what? To get Austria in our pocket, I'm going to rival the Palatinate, because he hates the Palatinate. I think okay. that's worthy. Lots of people hate the Palatinate. Good. We still have our royal marriage with Castile. And it's it's ten years that we can't be allies. Yeah, that's a long time. But I, it's still worthy of getting him back. As a, he's still green checkmark. He wants the alliance. But, but the thing that's strange is it's ten years he can't be allies, but the truce with France is 15 years because it was 100%. So mm -hmm. no matter what, we can just get the alliance again before France fights us. Yeah, there's no logic to it. The, 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 the time of the alliance should be the same as the truce timer. The time of the no alliance should be the same as yeah. the truce timer. Or at least, actually, it should be longer. Like, the, yeah. whole, the whole point of forcing someone to break all relations is so that the next war, they won't be able to defend together. Yep, I agree. I actually think it should be, like, double the truce length or something. It yeah, should be very... It, you're spending war score on something that gives you no land, gives you no money, it gives you nothing that's, like, tangible except for this promise to not have an alliance. Mm -hmm. It should last a long time. It would make the game more balanced if it was, like... If it was, okay, your truce timer is six years, and so an old treaties is for 12. Careful there. Don't don't don't, don't let Wiz hear the word balance. <laughs> Why? He doesn't know the meaning of the word. Oh! Earn! 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Wiz. I'm, I'm going to see Wiz in a couple days, so I got to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, always look at the bright side of life, Shen. Once you, if you want to smile, just go look at Corfu. Uh, Austria went hostile. We should have taken a statesman. Now they're suddenly at negative 86 because they desire Cremona. He took the gets... mission for Northern Italy. Oh, gotta love missions. Should have taken the Statesman. Yeah, Corfu's still sitting there with it, Orthodox Zealots. It, it wouldn't have, uh... I don't think it would have made a difference. He would have still taken the mission whether he was allies with us or not. But isn't there a choice of three missions? He would have just taken something else. No, I, I think that it, it's completely random what they pick. That's why France will sometimes stop hmm. being your friend. Well, we got our claim on Siena. Siena has Sweet. no allies. You ready? Hopefully it stays that way. We have a truce. Why would you do that? Because, why not? You want to lose five stability? Not really, but... <laughs> uh, this this playthrough has gone into the dumpster. It really has. Oh, I don't know. I still think we have a good chance of doing well. The thing is, like... um. I remember I was playing my, my Aztec campaign, and I, I lost some really nasty colonial wars to France. Um, but the thing is that when you when you lose land, the war it doesn't it doesn't matter. The game's not over. Like you keep your claims, you keep your cores. Like it's very easy to get land back mm -hmm. when you lose it. I don't know. I, I think that it's not that big of a deal. We lost a war. Big deal. What are you doing to France? Getting relations up. How come? Why not? I think that's something that we've been neglecting for too long, is just keeping relations up with people. That's part of the reason why the coalition is so bad. Well, <laughs> to be fair, the coalition is so bad because they have like negative 150 aggressive expansion. Mm hmm. It doesn't matter if we had improved relations, they'd still be in the coalition. Well, we could have had some allies. Like Mecklenburg's only negative 68, he could have been an ally. I guess not that many. A lot of them are just really upset. Because what we're doing is so crazy. Trying to form Italy. <laughs> it is. Well, historically they formed through rebels, didn't they? I don't know. I wasn't there, Shen. You were there. You're older than no. dirt itself. Obviously our mission's never going to happen. What's our mission? Our mission was to placate Austria. Oh, to get well. them get them to 100 opinion. I had assumed we'd be able to get the alliance... Mm -hmm. And get them up to 100 for 25 Diplo points, but nope. Well, the good news is that when we take Siena, we can form Italy, and then we get five gorgeous Italian ideas to replace these shitty ones. And uh, it'll be great. What are the first five Italian? I do not know off the top of my head, but I can look it up for you. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we'll end up with. We will have... Um, our traditions are 20% global trade power and 50% better relations over time. So there goes all that aggressive expansion. It'll decay very quickly. Mm -hmm. We're going to have negative 10 stability cost. Okay. Plus 15% infantry combat ability. Mm -hmm. Galley cost goes down by 15% while combat ability goes up by 20. 33% national manpower. 15% national tax. Okay. The final two are 25% Imperial Authority and then minus 25% core creation cost. Interesting that they get Imperial Authority. Yeah. Well, we are part of the Empire, so maybe we can <laughs> use our aggressive expansion reduction to, to make everyone like us. I don't know about that, but maybe. I mean, a man can dream. So you were pointing out that Burgundy, or sorry, Austria was no longer going to be the Emperor and it's going to be... He's got it back. He's got it back. He's got Brandenburg. Two, three votes. Of course, that was when we thought he'd be our friend. Now he's our enemy, so we don't want him to be. You think he's going to coalition us? He could. Well, he's pissed off we annexed members of the uh, HRE. Why would, we, why would we do that? And we're about to do another one. What are you talking about? We're going to annex Siena. We're going to get another member of the HRE annexed. Oh, I think... What's that modifier about um, integrating? Oh, I'm sure it applies to everything. And next, a member of the HRE. I'm sure it applies to Sienna. Sienna, stop being a prince, you little bastard. <laughs> France just annexed, or France just peacefully vassalized Lorraine. That's fun. So, um, you were talking the other day. We weren't talking about it in the video, but um, 
the chain like we should do this campaign over again in the next patch because Genoa is going to be like the best node <laughs> yeah Genoa is going to be good uh they're they're changing Sevilla to no longer be an end node and Sevilla's trade will go to Genoa which will be an end node now that's going to be yep. a huge difference and instead of Genoa going to Bordeaux Bordeaux goes to Genoa mm -hmm. <laughs> like like what <laughs> it's so different going to be pretty significant i really wish there was some flexibility in the trade system like when you're playing the game to actually have the trade flow in different directions based on who's strong at what time yeah but there's there's no flexibility that stuff's hard-coded yeah well i i've made the argument before and i made it in person and wiz just was like no <laughs> like this is it's something that he you know he spouts all this code-based stuff about deterministic nonsense with the <laughs> the vertexes and I don't know whatever but um but like here's what I would propose is okay the the problem that they always cite is that if if they allow trade to go in a circle you would end up with an interflow like a, an overflow error because it would get infinitely multiplied by the trading bonuses from like shifting trade from one zone to another I'm sure they could figure that out here's just a very simple solution how about trade doesn't get increased anymore when it goes from one node to another just Whoa. get rid of that just Whoa. take that away. Whoa. Revolutionary. Then, and then you don't have to worry about that. Revolutionary. Because, you sound like look, a troublemaker, Arumba. I bet you were that kid in class who always questioned the teacher. Just make the trade go in whatever direction you want. Any direction. From any one node to any other adjacent node. And then if you're collecting trade in that node, depending on the number of people who are collecting, apply a bonus there in the node. So there's 10 people collecting. 10% bonus to total trade or something. I don't know. Make it so that it's in the node instead of upon moving one from a, one, one node to another. You know, these kind of radical ideas are frowned upon. But it would, it would be something. It would be really cool if, like, you know, as the Ottomans, you could get so strong that you could actually pull trade from the HRE to you. And, yeah, you know, I, I if, think that'd be interesting. We have eight if, manpower pretty good <laughs> nice round number but yeah i mean trade trade could definitely use some flexibility but there's there's just none like the system wasn't designed to have flexibility i don't I, do you really think they could go back and recode the 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 gains engine to do that sure. i don't know well they've, they've changed a lot of things about the game kind yeah, of they have K kind of i mean they, they did mention one of the dev diaries that like they went through and they change something about backwards compatibility and like this version of the game will definitely not be compatible with the next patch right and they mentioned that they went through there and they removed some of the code that was trying to make save games compatible with eu3 hmm. and i was thinking why in the hell is there code in your eu4 game about eu3 like i get you want to recycle some of the code that you did before but like come on like why is that in there Ugh. Like, if you look in your EU4 folder, it's called EU3 Dialog. Like, the different interface, like, things in there are EU3 Dialog. They should update that. You think we should lower funding so we can actually make some money? Also, should we build some more navy? Some trade ships? We're already up to the force limit. Oh, our force limit is so tiny. Yeah, well, we lost a lot of land. We did. We lost a lot of sea... sea uh, Naval land, right? Yeah. Claim our rival's province, Brescia. R rival of rival, Mamluks. I don't know about that. Protect against Venice. Build 23 soldiers. We can't do that. Hmm. The Mamluks have Venice as a rival. So we could potentially get uh, 25 free diplo points from improving relations with them. I don't really want to, though. Do you want to claim Brescia simply so that we can get some military power? Mm, do you want to get caught and piss off the HRE some more? They're our rival. We shouldn't get caught. That's true. You never get caught when you fabricate on your rival, right, Arumba? Very rarely. <laughs> what, are, what, what are the chances of getting caught? Uh, let's just take the mission. The chances of getting caught, you tell me. What's the math? Well, it tells you. Well, we can't do it until we kick the button. 
risk of discovery per month, 1.45%. So that's the actually course, for the course of 12 months, that's decent. That's pretty freaking high. The reason for that is that um, Venetian spies operate at 0%, and the country's defended at 4%. What? Our spies operate at 0%. So because they have more defense than we have offense, they have that's why the number's so significant. Defense versus offense. Where do you see this? Oh, I see. Okay, Venetian spies operate at 0% efficiency. And their country is defended at 4% efficiency. Our spies operate at 0% efficiency. Okay. That's so weird. So yeah, without a without a rebel like uh, the guy that gives ten percent spy offense, we're pretty likely to get caught. There is a spy offense guy, but he's level three. Nah. But Too then expensive. again, you know when they have when they have one hundred and fifty aggressive expansion, what's seven more? I mean, <laughs> why worry? Oh, I don't know. Saving our skin. So, what do you think is we? You think we should get get another cannon here with our last little room for a soldier? Cannon yes. or oh, right, cannon? Because we already have a lot of 11 soldiers. In, yeah, Eleven infantry. We need a bigger backline to provide that defensive bonus and to do damage, of course. Burgundy's friendly. One thing that's good is that we do have a royal marriage with Austria, don't we? Uh, yes. Did I mention so, Burgundy's friendly? You just did. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. He won't ally don't. though because because <laughs> okay. uh, of Hungary. And what, oh. we rivaled Hungary? Did we? We did. Yes. Oh, one of our advisors died. Military advisor died. Okay, what do you want? Morale of armies? Land force limits? If you want to ally Burgundy, which we probably do need someone to help us with France, we could pay the 100 diplo points since we're ahead of time to change our rival from Hungary. Oh, I really don't like that you have to do that, but yeah, we could. Well, we're not going to outgrow them, and they're not going to outgrow us, so it's either stay permanently rival to Hungary... Or pay 100 diplo points and just be free of it. Well, I would rather probably rival Sicily. Yeah. Who still hasn't formed any alliances, because that if, would be too smart. If we ally Burgundy, we are guaranteeing that we won't be able to ally Austria again. Austria is hostile to us. I know, but that's only because of the mission. And the mission, what, you think it's going to go away? It does. It will eventually go away unless he declares for it. Even then it'll go away. Well, his claim will go away, but that doesn't mean the mission goes away. The claim will expire in 52. Oh, it's such a long time. But he'll keep the mission. No, you I don't, don't know that. I, I've seen them I, change mission. Really? I, yeah. I have not seen the AI cycle missions. Yeah. Like, um... I just finished a campaign in India, and the AI was constantly taking, you know, foothold in India. So they get the the claim on the coastline, and a lot of them would just like never, never declare war. And then they would just change missions. Hmm. Well, I don't November know. I don't know what causes year. them to change missions, though. We're two years away from being able to potentially form Italy. Oh, Austria just joined a war against France. Well. That's because they attacked Genoa. That's good. There goes their alliance. Yep, Austria. Uh, France has no allies now. Yep. All right, cool. Well, uh, it's about that time. It's that time. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, you brought this one in, so it's all you. No, I didn't. You did. You did. You did. Did I? I don't know. I thought you did. I'm well, sure you did. Whatever. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> uh, we are. We're kind of. We're frightened little children right now. But next year, we can declare on Sienna. Get them in our belly and click the button. Are you ready for the button? That's what I care about. That's all I'm, I want. I'm ready for the button. All right. All thanks right. for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.